Hi everybody, it's Kelly and I'm here to share my latest project with you. I'm really, really pleased with how it came out. I did it Saturday afternoon and yesterday, which was Sunday, most of yesterday. And I started with this that you can see in front of you. Um, it comes undecorated obviously, so you wouldn't have the red spots on the roof. But this is the 3D birdhouse kit by Tando Creative. Um, they make some really cool chipboard um, pieces and then also things to alter like this and they come unbuilt so in the package like this and then you set them up yourself. So I dug into my hoard bolt for this and cut into finally the beautiful Magic of Oz paper by Gra Graphic 45. First time I've ever used a Graphic 45 paper and for the first time ever I didn't distress everything with gesso but I am so pleased at how this came out. So. Here we go. Um, I decided to do this as four scenes. So there are four different scenes on this project. So this is the first scene. This is obviously the sepia or black and white scene before she leaves and lands in Oz. So we have the little picture of Dorothy here and she's holding on to a lollipop stick and I've put a little bead up there. Then there's a little wooden ruler in the background which I've just cut in half. I've covered all these sides here in the lighter bit of the paper line and then for the roofs I've done the back of that paper which is the black one which says Oz. I've fussy cut out this here which says the magic of Oz. And then I have um, placed this uh, fencing around here and it probably won't show very well on the camera but this is all covered in crackle accents. I just stressed, before I crackle accented it, I just stressed it with some of the black soot and the frayed burlap, no, vintage photo. Um, and then over here we have a little black flower which I've sprayed, some more fussy cut pieces. There's a metal filigree here, another fussy cut piece under here. This has been sprayed with Gossamer Gold by Lindy Stamp Gang. And then some more flowers which I've spray, sprayed black. And that one is, hold on, I got them all out. That one is Toto's Tornado Black. Uh, those two and the gossamer gold for these two and then here there's another filigree so that's that scene so that's before she leaves Oz and then if we spin it round we come to this scene and this is when she's she's in Oz um, Dorothy's in, in Oz and she meets the lion and the scarecrow and the tin man so for this scene I've done the background in the sort of yellowy coloured paper distressed all the edges of that with can't remember. And just tried to fill the edges of that with one of the blues. Then we've got some flowers. So I've actually used that same distress ink to uh, colour the flowers. Let me see if I can find it, but I can tell you what it's called. Um, weathered wood. Don't know if you heard that. Sorry, that's weathered wood distress ink, which I've coloured these flowers with, which is all around the edges of this. And again, the back of that paper I've put on the top of the ha the houses here and here. Um, then I fussy cut, I don't know if you can see up here, there's the Glinda the Good Witch and I fussy cut out this thing that says Oz. There's a um, little uh, leaf down there which I've cut off a spray. Um, then this little sign here with the flowers and the, and the crows I've cut out which says Wanted a Brain. Um, then there's some more flowers behind them here. Um, then if we go to the next scene which is here this is the Wicked Witch of the West scene and this is obviously when she gets caught by the Wicked Witch so I've curled the paper over here round this side I've fussy cut out the door and the feet so they're there um, I've got a crow here a miniature Wicked Witch here this monkey here is popped on pop dots these ones flying monkeys are stuck quite flat on there then there's some pieces here which are all popped up on pop dots out of the paper line the flowers for this I dyed with Wicked Witch Purple Lindy's, that's that one. They're all flat Fabios those by the way, except the Gossamer Gold. And then I put some more of the flowers around, another scare cr um, crow, and if I turn it slightly that way. So there is my witch which I fussy cut and then I've added some chain for her belt and tied it up there. Um, and then I've also added a broomstick on here and I've put some purple ribbon around that so that all ties in. Then for the very last scene, we have the poppy field leading into the Emerald City. So we have the poppy field here, which continues round here. And then this here says the Emerald City and the poppy field, all the wonders of Oz. 
and this one down here says there's no place like home there's no place like home and for this I've sprayed lots of flowers and I've sprayed those using this one which is rhododendron red rose and also the darker ones I have sprayed in ruby slipper red which is this one then I've also fussy cut well lots of poppies as you can see from the paper line I fussy cut out the shoes and then I've covered those in red glitter and the idea for this was that there was like an explosion so if I stand this up a little bring that forward so the idea is that the, the roof exploded off when oh when the hot air balloon came out so that at the top obviously there is the hot air balloon actually if I, I don't know if I can tip it up so so the roof exploded off so we've got one part of the roof here which is sort of slid down to one side and we've got half of the roof here which has fallen off and the other half is down here behind my little wizard man there and the roof exploded off and the hot air balloon came out of the center like that then the other thing that I'm not sure if you can see is all, all around the edges I've actually brick masked that and painted that yellow and there is a little bit of glitter over that as well so all around the edge except for the start there is also a yellow brick road so yeah let's pan that back down hope you like it I'm really 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 pleased with it um, I like that I've sort of taken this traditional I suppose traditional 3D birdhouse and turned it into a Wizard of Oz story with four scenes so stay tuned for some still photos hopefully you'll get to see things a bit better I'm just spinning around this for you so you can see the scenes again Oh, and I put some little feet on the bottom, bottom as well, um, just out of flat back pearls so that it sits, so that it can spin like so. Um, still photos will also be on my blog. Um, thank you very much for watching, and let me know what you think. Thank you. Bye.